You on? Yep. Okay, my name's Christian Livingstone. I'm here with my uh, Christian brother, uh, John Kelly. He's filming. Go ahead and turn the camera on your own face, John. There you go. Thanks. Anyway, we're here with my uh, crazy uh, hand-powered uh, tricycle uh, uh, that is also uh, uh, has the electric motor hub on it. We haven't tried the electric motor hub. We're going to do that today, but first we're going to uh, demonstrate, uh, it's still in the prototype stage, but demonstrate uh, the mechanical action of this front drive powered uh, hand cycle. Anyway, it's no secret that I uh, had an industrial accident that resulted in the loss of uh, both of my legs slightly above the knee, so that's really what, you know, brought this about. I like to weld, so I decided to make a uh, bike like this so I could get exercise, interface with the public without the wheelchair. I use the wheelchair in the house and, and uh, drive the car uh, and those are great. And I push a shopping cart in the, in the stores so all of those things are nice but there's a big missing gap or mode of transportation and way to interface with people uh, in the public and, and I think the, the bike is, is the best thing. I, I'm really digging it already. I've only ridden it a couple of times. You know, it was narrower, and then I uh, uh, reworked it and wide, widened the tail section to get give me more stability so I wouldn't fall over. And uh, then I uh, did this front uh, jack shaft uh, uh, section, and I reworked that recently, beefed it up, and so it's it's really gone through uh, uh, a little bit of refinement, and it's it's getting pretty close right now. So there's more details to do, uh, but basically the, the biggest part uh, is done. So we'll do that. We'll take a ride on it. I'll get up and show you how I mount it. It's not a pretty or graceful uh, process, but here it goes. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> Voila, we're on. Okay, this uh, has an 8-speed internal hub. That means I've got gears and uh, the ratios are about right. It's uh, about one-to-one -one top to bottom sprockets and eight gears in between with I think it's uh, 208 uh, percent ratio. So in top gear, I believe uh, this would be about like a, uh, a beach cruiser bicycle would be, the single speed beach cruiser bicycle. And instead of doing it uh, with legs, of course, I'm doing it, it with my hands. And I don't think it's twice as hard. I think it's uh, maybe one and a half times as much uh, power as needed. And, you know, it's surprising how much up top uh, uh, you can compete with, you know, the alternate weight uh, of a, a typical bicycle and the use of legs is. Um, you know, you Obviously, uh, a, a sitting uh, a bench uh, a press, a, a leg press, you're, you're more powerful with your legs. But on a bicycle, you're really not seated and pressing against anything. So up top here, I am. I am able to really exert a lot of force. And it's, you know, it's probably nearly what a, a, a pair of legs would do. But right now, I'm in first gear. Usually, I'll start off around fourth gear. This is what fourth gear uh, seems like. You can stand up and follow along. Okay, there's fourth gear. Whee! You can see this is pretty nimble and agile. I can get in between spaces. And I don't need uh, leg rest or anything. Uh, I've got reverse here. See? Manual reverse. <laughs> And there's a coaster brake built into the uh, crank arms here, so I just go like this. But on the electrics, uh, I still haven't hooked up the rear brakes uh, 
back here, but uh, we're going to drive it anyway without those brakes. And if we need to, we'll just reach up here and use the coaster brake when we do the electrics. Okay, so let's uh, cut right Road there. test is kind of show how it'll do on flats and, and other areas. Uh, so uh, again, I'll start out in fourth gear and I'll come right back and uh, uh, I believe I'll be in about eighth gear, top gear when I come back and you'll see what kind of speed I can generate without really, uh, uh, you know, beating myself up too bad. This is eighth gear. I'm moving at a pretty good clip and it's it's not too burdensome. a little driveway action. I'll put it in, uh, let's go second gear, make it easy on me. So there you have it. Uh, I think it's pretty obvious, you know, to me and, and anybody else that uh, this is a highly functional unit here. I could use this to pick up groceries or go visiting places. I'm a little winded right now, but I'm sure uh, I could use a little conditioning and uh, kind of bring some of this down here back up here where it belongs. Okay, now, okay, cut right around. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do the electric uh, motor part. Uh, we've already done the uh, uh, hand-powered part. And everything on the electric side is, is kind of just, uh, you know, makeshift. We've lashed it down with duct tape just to try it. I've got, uh, you know, I'm going to design a battery box down there out of this diamond plate uh, to hold the battery in. I'm going to put that controller down there up under the seat. but. For now, everything's just, you know, lashed down with masking tape. But let's see if it works. Here we go. Woo! Woo! -hoo -hoo! Woo! -hoo! Holy mackerel! This thing flies. Holy mackerel! Yep. On out. Okay, so uh, the battery ran out on that last segment just as we were kind of in the middle of the, uh, the electric part. But, you know, if we include that, uh, you'll see that this baby rolls, man. I mean, rolls. Here's the electric part. Here's the uh, uh, thumb uh, throttle. And uh, there's a car coming. Let me get out of the way. into it. I don't want to take off because this thing flies.
tell you what, I don't want to give it all the all the gas it has, man. touched on the throttle all the way for about two seconds and I got a little afraid because I, I don't know how, how good my balance is on this thing. It's, it flies. I must have been going 30 miles an hour there for a second. So that's a story. It's, uh, it's looking good. Got 